watermark. What is a watermark? It is really very easy to create a watermark in MS Word, but it is very difficult to create a watermark in MS Excel. So that's why we have to use some tricky methods to create a watermark in Excel. That's why it's a bit problematic for many of you. Many questions have arised. So in today's video, we will learn about the watermark that is present in any kind of documents or bills or any kind of official paper. For example, company logo or in any other thing that we want to add watermark. So here in very easy steps, we will learn how we can create a watermark in MS Excel. Okay, so let's start today's video. At first, using MS Excel, we have to prepare a document like this. We can create the sheet as per our needs and as per our requirements. In our previous videos, we have learned how to create and design the Excel sheet like this. If you haven't seen our last video, you can go and check them out. There is a free course on MS Excel on shikhan.com. So now in between this table, we want to add a watermark or a picture in the background as an overlay. It is very easy to find the watermark option in MS Word because it is already present there. But it is not that easy to find the watermark in MS Excel. So in that case, for adding a watermark, we have to apply some tricks. And for that, we need to insert. As because my page is zoomed in, all the options are not visible. So let's zoom out a little bit. So after insert, you will see we can find two options that is header and footer. So for giving watermark in MS Excel, we need to go from insert to header and footer. So now we click on header and footer. So after doing that, we can see that our page has been converted into header and footer format, which means it has got separated because we have already taken the measurements. So everything will be fitting very well. So in our last tutorial, we have already learned about formatting file size and file setup. You can refer to that. So after coming to header and footer option, a new option is here that is called picture. So we will press our cursor correctly and go to the picture. So now the question arises from where we will take the image. It can be in OneDrive or Bing or from a file. We will choose a file from our computer. For example, here we are selecting our own logo, but you will select your watermark from which you are going to work. Now after that, we will press OK. Now we can see a code has arrived and the image is not showing properly. So let's click on a blank space. As we click on a blank space, our image got displayed in the background. If you try to insert the image the way you used to do in the MS Word, then it won't appear in the background as it is now appearing here. But if you use header footer, it will automatically get displayed in the background. If you have done this in MS Word, you might know that we can customize our colors in our pictures. How do we do that? We need to click here first. Now after clicking, we can notice one thing format picture is not coming. My header has three points, but from where we have brought the picture or where the function is placed. When we click here, the format picture is enabled now. So we have to know the correct way to access our options. So after clicking, our format picture has already arrived here. After that, we will go to picture, then color and we can choose any color of our choice, be it black and white or wash out. After that, we will press OK. And now we can see our watermark is completed. So now if you want to brighten or lighten the color, then we can simply adjust with the brightness and contrast option from the top menu. We will lighten this and press OK. And now you can see the result. So in this way, very easily, we can create a watermark in MS Excel. Now see, we want to bring this watermark towards the center. So for that, we need to adjust it now. Also, we can see the size of the logo is very big. So how can we customize these two? Again, we will click here and then go to design and then format picture. Now, if you want to decrease the width of the image, then see the option is already given here. Instead of 22, if we do 15 and then press OK, it will decrease here. So in this way, we can change this according to our convenience. Now, in case if we mess things up, then we can reset it as well. Or else we can give width height a percentage. Let's say we make it 50%. Now we can see it has decreased. Now again, we will go back to the format picture option. 
So we want the picture to go downwards so that it comes to the right place. For that we need to go to picture. After going to picture we can see top bottom left and right is given. So we have to keep in mind that we need to bring this in minus. We can see it is written here minus 0.3 cm. So we will go more downwards to minus 1. After pressing OK we can see it has gone down a little bit. So now if we increase this to minus 15 and press OK. So now we can see that it has gone downwards. So in this way we can see that it has come towards the middle of the page. So if we go to print preview. Then we can see our watermark has already arrived. So in this way very creatively we can use header and footer and create a watermark. If we close the header and footer option and go back to the normal mode that we had in MS Excel. Then the watermark will disappear. So in that case we do not need to worry because it will be coming in our prints. So in MS Excel using all these methods we can create a watermark like MS Word. So by using watermarks we can secure our documents as it also helps in maintaining the privacy of a company. So in today's class we learned that how we can create a watermark or any image overlay in MS Excel for our important documents. So in this way we can practice all these things in MS Excel and in case you haven't seen our previous videos you can go and check them. The best part is this course is totally free. So you can learn MS Excel from that course and update yourself. Thank you for watching today's class with Shikhan.com.